Wow, I can't believe this, even the river. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> you really do slide around when you start walking on it. This is fantastic, even the river has frozen over. Look at that, this is so cute. Okay, I think Mossy really loves skating around like this. I wish we could summon some allies now with our active skill, just so that we could have some of the other clan cats roaming around with us and sliding across the ice together. We'll definitely have to look into unlocking that skill in the future, just so we can feel like our little Mossy, the young cat of the forest cat colony here in Cat Tales, the alpha, has a little bit of company, because this is so adorable. I really, really love this. All right, so welcome back everyone. It is the first day of winter and Mossy is currently investigating the different areas around our colony's territory in order to see what kind of little creatures might still be available to hunt now that the snow is falling upon the ground. Oh my gosh, look, even the road looks different. That's so cool. There's a little... What was he scared by? That's the question. Ah, dang it, and the squirrel ran off. I wonder if there's, aha, that's what I thought. There's another rogue cat, or another another colony cat. Huh, you know what? I think I kind of want to fight him. What's the control of this area? So this is 60% us, the forest colony, and 40% the mystic cat colony. I think we're gonna come over here and give little Jelly a bit of a surprise. Take this, Jelly, take this. I may not be much of a fighter, but I'm probably enough to- Yeah, we did it, guys! And we got five Mews. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so let's see. We've collected some winter berries. We have a little bit of golden seal that we can use. We may have to be more cautious about actually participating in battles now that it's winter, however. Because I'm not sure if Mossy is going to be able to collect up the healing herbs that we need. That's what today is all about. It is the first official day of winter. We spent some time with winter last time uh, as well, but it's the first day when we're doing lots of big exploring. So we can try to see how the landscape has changed and where we will probably want to spend the majority of our time now that the seasons have shifted. Where's the best resources for a young wild cat like ourselves to be able to find food, healing items, and possibly a sparkly trinket or two? I don't think we're gonna find anything fun to collect. Uh, there's no bugs roaming around, which is a bit of a pity. But I don't think we'll find anything offhand to collect during winter, but it'd be really fun if there were more spots where there's just like random items available. Like I've seen some people suggest over on the Cattails forums, which is a really great place to go if you are trying to add suggestions or just see other people's, uh, other people's interpretations of how they're enjoying the alpha yet. But I saw a suggestion for like a junkyard and that actually sounds really cool. Like a chance of finding some sort of random item in there every day. I'd be all over that. Oh, there's a dove. Okay. And we're going to turn on our, our hunting senses so we can see. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it flew away. I guess it was up in the air, but we will slowly and surely start learning how close to get to all the different types of prey by using the special study prey active skill. So hopefully that'll help us out. Let's walk down here and see if the fish are around in winter or if we're going to have to rely entirely on just finding the very rare odd stray mouse and possibly having to sell off some of our treasures in exchange for getting our paws on a lot of mews and buying the mice from other cats who are a little bit more clever at making sure to keep their stores of delicious food up higher than uh, Mossy did. In my defense, I have a lot of little treasures though. I'm sure not, oh, there's a, there's a dove. But how am I gonna get it if it's all the way over there? Ah, dang it, and it, I, there was, I don't think there was a way to like elegantly splash across that small creek and catch the dove all at the same time, unfortunately. All right. Well, it's pretty late at night. There's no seashells, unfortunately. I would love to see more seashells more often to collect. Oh, seashell! Now there's a seashell! I take it back! I totally take it back! And there's a dove. Yes! All right! And we got a dove. Perfect. We were getting a little bit peckish. So it is going to be a little bit harder to hunt in the winter, but it was already kind of hard for us to hunt because I'm not very good at it. Let's also put a little bit of diplomacy down to start taking over the beach west section. It'd be nice if we could connect that up because we have the overstones and the rumbling taken over. So forest colony is really seeing quite a bit of growth since we've been able to put down our, our really awesome, ah, oh, dang it, and that guy got away too. 
but our really awesome skills in spying, aka using our... Oh, there's a little bunny. Okay, let's see if I can manage to snag this bunny. So I'm sneaking. Dang it! The bunny saw me! Get the bunny, get the bunny, get the bunny! Uh, I got him! <gasps> we chased the black hair! Oh, that's the first time I've gotten a black hair. I wonder if Scout will like that one. <gasps> and there's a little toad. Okay, so the beach actually seems to be really hopping with lots of different prey types. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be in the winter like this, but I'm not gonna question it. Doves make sense to me though. Can I catch up with this frog? Hey, come back here, frog. Toad, whatever you are, you don't move very quickly. Yes, all right. See, Mossy really relies on places you can corner prey versus places where, you know, the prey actually, <laughs> actually needs to be snuck up on. We're not very good at the sneaking. Oh, see what I mean? And then we just scare the squirrel off. Squirrels are very good at running from us once they know we're coming for them. Oh, and here's some more winter berries. So, so far, not a lot of healing plants. This might be the season where if we had not been stocking up on healing plants, we would have to rely entirely on dock. And that makes things a little bit more tricky. Or you'd have to buy the plants from dock or the moles. The moles do happen in exchange for quite a few mews, unfortunately to sell the golden seal and the other healing plants that we can use. So I'm going to have to remember that too. This is so pretty. I really love it in winter. It's so nice. All right, let's wiggle this way. You can see this almost looks like footprints. Also, I remember hearing about a dog. Ember had rumors about a dog once upon a time. I hope we don't run into one. That would be a little bit alarming. All right, let's go ahead and go to bed. And have we gotten anything? We've got a, a black hair and a toad. He croaked his last croak as he croaked. And a black jet bunny with no more hop in its step. Maybe if we give that, maybe if we give that to Scout, he'll think we're cool. Maybe if we level up our, our hunting skill and we give that to Scout, like we can be forgiven for trying just to level our hunting skill up to impress him. We're gonna have to see. All right, can we level our hunting skill up? We can! And we're very close to being able to use a new active skill, but I think hunting skill is more important. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. And then maybe we'll be able to do a little bit of better hunting now that it's winter. Oh, I do want to show you guys how to sell things to the mole, though. So we may go up to the mines in just a moment, especially now that Scout's going to be out and about anyway. And we may pop into the mines just long enough so I can show you guys the new way I learned how to sell things to the mole. All right, let's come this way. Good to see you today. I've been running laps around our territory and timing myself for fun lately. My time yesterday was so much better than my time today and I can't get over it. He's very much the jock type. Let's go ahead. This is a big sacrifice. Big sacrifice, sir. Giving you this rabbit. This is out of our desperation for you to like us. All right, give the black hair. I've never caught one before. I hope this is worth it. Oh, wow. I've always loved these. Thanks a billion, Mossy. All right. I think he likes it as much as mice. So I'll remember that for the future. But I really like Scout because I feel like he's teaching us a lot with the sneaking skills like this. Ah, I say, get the mouse for crying out loud, Mossy. You can do it. Okay. That, that's, not what, that's not what he's been teaching us. Just to clarify. He's been teaching us how to actually sneak and use our study prey skill, but I totally keep attacking rather than I, I, I need to like jump at the same time, but I always forget to hold the shift bar down, which is my bad. So yeah, don't 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 blame Scout for that. That was all me. Not that that's gonna surprise anyone. Ah, Siri. All right, so let's keep going to the north and I will show you guys how I have learned to sell things to Mr. Mole. Ooh, and also, with our diplomacy skill cooling down, we should find another spot to be able to control the forest territory, especially now that it is no longer the seasons where the forest is really teeming with a lot of prey. And there's also no fish to catch at the forest lake. Ooh, I wonder, whoa! Did you see that, guys? That was so fun! I want to go spinning across the lake again. That was cool! Go, Mossy, go! Oh my goodness, that's so cute! She's just skittering across the lake. Oh, it's so fun when she gets to the spinning. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, let's keep going. It looks like there's no fish to hunt along the canyon area anyway. So, I wonder if that's going to make the mountain area a little bit more dangerous since they're going to be a bit put out that they won't have the prey they normally do. Hmm. Hmm. We better make sure that we kind of poke their area a little bit. Let's try taking over Tomb Creek just to be sure. So I should be able to blast it with some of my spy skills. 
So let's pop over there really quickly. No prey. Don't see any prey. And boom! Ha ha ha! We control all of it now! Holy moly! Look at how far our territory is going! I am so proud! You know, I think one of my next goals may be to take over one of their established territory spots, like Oakwood. I wonder what's in Oakwood? Is there prey in Oakwood? Well, they do say that curiosity killed the cat, but I have to admit, I am extremely curious to see. Wait, get back over here, little toad! Why can't I catch you? You're just a little bit faster than me! This is unfair! <laughs> this is very fair! You live another day! But I'm very curious as to what's up here, so let's just take a little peek. This is their territory. I totally accept that. And is there anything yummy in it? Or any useful healing items that only show up in the winter? Hmm. There's a mouse. Might want to do a little hunting. In fact, I've always been curious to see if, if like, successful hunting in territory actually improves the... Okay, let's wait for this. Ah, go, 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 go. I'm sure I can get him if I go quick. Come on, use your sprint. Dang it. <laughs> Wait, there's the mouse again. Okay, let's try this again and study up so I do it right. Scout has not been trying to teach us for nothing. Oh, I, I, he's been trying to teach us for nothing. <laughs> I let that one go too. Oh my goodness. All right, enough of this nonsense. I have been wanting to see how you could change if you can change. Oh, look, but just by being here. That's what I thought. Fantastic. So just by being in the area and maybe trying to hunt, we have actually tweaked the spot just a little bit towards being forest cat territory. Not bad, if you ask me. All right, so let's go back down. We are going to go visit with Mr. Mole for just a moment and see if we can manage to get down into the mines and grab something that I can sell back to him. Turns out there's a fancy way that you need to sell things to the mole. There's not a sell screen for him just yet. Oh, 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 oh. there's prey. There's prey. I was hoping there'd be something to eat. <laughs> Why? Why can I never manage this? It's kind of hilarious in a sad, sad, frustrating way. All right, there's prey. We can still chase him into a corner. All right, at least we managed to get the squirrel. So the mole is over here and we went down to level 25 before. So what we can actually do is we can buy once we have enough mole coin or mole cash pieces. I wonder if you should just call them moles. Like as a, like there's mews, what about moles and mews? You know what I mean? I think that'd be kind of funny. So anyway, you can buy the warp to level 25 if you have 200 mole cash. But I was having a really hard time gathering mole cash. I mean, it's not the easiest thing in the world. And it turns out that you actually have to hold your items from your inventory to sell them to the mole. So let's go down and see if I can find something to sell to him. And I can't wait for my sprint skill. Okay, there's rock debris. So maybe rock debris at the very least can be sold to him. And we'll claw our way around. I do think that time slows down in the mines, thank goodness. Let me grab this. Okay, nothing there. And there we go. Now my sprint is ready. We can sprint and dash around. Oh, look, yes, there's a mole coin. Wonderful. And I want to find, I wish I could find something more useful than all the rock debris, but maybe I can at least sell that for like one mole and that's better than nothing. So might as well gather those up. Just watch, it's going to be the very last spot once again that will let me go down deeper into the mines. Oh my gosh, it totally is. <laughs> oh, why? Why? Okay, come here, you stone. Take that. All right. At least we're getting a little experience for it. And I don't think we'll be able to get down very quickly now that we're stuck just gathering rock debris. But hopefully we can take that up. Maybe that'll do something. There's 25 mole coins. All right, there's more rock debris. Ooh, there's the path down. And once we have the 50 mole coins or whatever it is, what's 100? Ew, it may have been 100. Once we have 100 mole coins, let's eat my squirrel. Then we will be able to get the warp and we won't have to ever deal with this simple area anymore We can take the tunnels directly down to level 25. Also. I just realized am I wearing both the bell and the scarf? <gasps> I am you can stack your accessories. What the heck that is so cool I can't believe it took me so long to notice that is so cool. All right. Well, I'm a happy duck then yeah, and I don't think we're gonna get really any further into the mines today. Maybe, let's see if the rock debris actually, well, we keep finding those little mole coins. I need to see if the rock debris actually sells for anything. 
And if it does, then we have at least pecked. Oh yeah, and we're full up on our inventory now. If it does, then we have at least started the pile of coins, the mole coins that we'll need for something more. And I think what you do is you pull out, oops, sorry, sorry, Mr. Mole. You pull out, let's see, the rock debris. Hmm, what's that you got? It isn't a gem, but perhaps I'll make you an offer. I guess I can give you one mole cache for your rock debris. How about it? And then you can come over here and you can either do it one by one or you can trade all debris or in gems, which would give us 16 mole cache for all those, those bits of rock. Totally on that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So now a determined day of mining will actually allow us to go ahead and get the warp, which is 200. I was 100 off. It will allow us to get the warp deep within the mine and push come to shove it will also allow us to survive the winter if we choose to be a gem discovering minor cat because we'll be able to get the harvest mouse and we'll even be able to get some marigold which is pretty useful because it's only available like when it's not winter so it's gone right now but I think that's pretty exciting that makes me very happy at least also our diplomacy skill is almost ready so let's go ahead and find a contested area really quickly because I think that Mossy is quite proud that she's been able to help her colony's territory spread so far. So let's go over and I want to start taking over like the oak wood or the river bend directly. Let's go to the river bend and let's see if we can really deliver a little bit of an impact. Oh, there was a mouse. And let's look for food while we're at it. But we'll go over to the river bend and see if we can deliver a bit of an impact so that it becomes part of forest colony territory rather than staying within the uh, mountain colony's hands. And boom! Ha ha ha! There we go! We have just delivered quite the blow to some of their controlled territory. It is now 25% forest colony. We should be able to take that out. Uh, no problem. No problem. Ooh, and I wonder, oh, there's one of the little black bunnies. Dang it, it ran off. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to work on our prey skills so that we'll be able to sense where the prey are before we end up chasing them off into who knows where. Because that would be helpful if I had some warning before we just stumbled right on top of them. But all right, and is this the island? Oh, there's a mouse. Okay, we're gonna get this right. Come on, stalk the little mouse. Okay. There we go, aim towards the mouse, and oh, we got it, there we go. Practice, practice, and more practice will make perfect after all. All right, so let's go ahead and send Mossy back home. Oh, wait, 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 there's some prey. Definitely wanna get this little guy, but I'm so excited. Yes, all right, we got the rabbit. But I am so excited to finally get Mossy deeper into the mines because I hear there is something super special. If you can get down to level 100 in the mines, there is a very, very, very special secret accessory waiting for you. Also, what the heck? What the heck? Battle! Battle! No, Tom! No, take this! Take this! Cool! The battle is won! Yay! All right. And we helped our colony win the battle of this territory, which means Forest East remains ours. So, all right, guys, we're going to send Mossy home so that she can rest in the warmth and safety of her den. And I will see you guys next time when we just may go digging in the mines for a few more sparkly secrets. So, I'll see you then. Bye-bye!